Please, sir, I only went to take some firewood there, said he, as I was told. The raven sneered. That tail won't do for me. He dragged poor Rupert down some stairs to a cellar damp and cold, and said, Here, wait, you'll learn the fate of all who'd steal my gold. While Rupert in that cellar sat, miserable as could be, Jacko and Goli went to ask if he could come to tea. Rupert's not in, his mother said. In several hours ago, he took some boots to Mr. Grunt. What keeps him, I don't know. Said Goli, who was thinking hard. He can't be far away. Let's go and ask that Mr. Grunt if he's been there today. The cobbler stood outside his door. They asked for Rupert Bear. He said he left a pair of boots and then went off down there. I'm going that way, the cobbler said to Mr. Raven's gate with boots. They went with him. He rang and told the two to wait. The dwarf, when asked of little bear, just scowled and shook his head, didn't took the boots and slammed the door, but not a word he said. I believe he's there, then Gully said. I think so too, said Jack. Please, Mr. Grunt, if you don't mind, I'll jump up from your back. From the cobbler's back to reach the top was quite an easy spring, for Jacko, who looked round and saw a hen tied by a string. The hen looked up and saw him there. She cried, Oh, get away, or they'll treat you like that little bear they caught in here today. He's here, called Jacko to his friends. Then, jumping down inside, quickly he ran towards the hen. Now, where is he? he cried. Hush, said the hen, and hide at once before your chance is gone. Too late, he sees the raven cries, Ha! Here's another one. Hi, you young thief. What do you hear? After my gold, I know. But you're safely caught. I'll lock you too in my cellar down below. No chance had Daco, Jacko to escape. The raven was too strong. He gripped him with his bony hand and hurried him along. Until they reach the cellar door, he shouts, Now, go down there. You'll die tomorrow, both of you, you and that little bear. Gully and Grunt wait anxiously. Jacko was gone so long. What can have happened? Gully asked. Said Grunt, there's something wrong. I'm sure Jack's captured, Gully cried. A prisoner, too, he's made. Wait here. I'll run to the wise old goat and ask him for his aid. Gully dashed off. He never ran so quickly ere before, and then to his great joy beheld the wise goat at his door. The wise goat looked round and said, What brings you here today? Rupert and Jacko. Gully gasped, In danger both are they. The wise goat listened to his tale. It's serious news, said he. He stroked his beard and pondered long and thought most anxiously. I have it now, he said at last. We need that magic key of the pine dream elves. They leave, live nearby. I'm sure they'll lend it me. Wait, said the wise goat, and he took from a cupboard near at hand an empty money bag Take this, fill it with stones or sand. Then if the miser chases you when you've set your friends free, just throw it down, he'll think it's gold, and stop at once to see. Then to the wood they went, and soon the wise goat stopped before a pine tree. Gully was surprised to see it had a door. The wise old goat then rang a bell which dangled from the tree. While Gully gazes at the door and wonders what he'll see, the door flew open. Out there peeped two tiny little elves, twin guardians of the magic key who lived there by themselves. Oh yes, white goat, they said at once. We'll let you have the key, but please be sure to bring it back as soon as soon can be. Now, here's the key, the wise goat said. Put it safely in your pocket 
for there's no door in all the world, but this key will unlock it. Remember, too, the money bag and how you are to use it. Now run to free your friends and mind that key. Be sure, don't lose it. Goli ran back. Grunt was still there. Said Goli, I have a key to get them out. Please fill this bag with stones or sound for me. Goli unlocks the door with ease. Now keep a sharp lookout, said Mr. Grunt, as in he crept, lest anyone's about. He saw the hen who warned him too. He said, don't fear for me. I can get out from any place for I've a magic key. Now, I will try to set you free if you will only show me where they put your friends the, the caught in here, Jackal and Little Bear. When Golly had untied the string, the hen said, Quick this way, for if they caught me helping you, I'd surely die today. But then she gave a sudden scream and flew off. Golly ran, but the gardener was too quick for him, says he, You're caught, young man.